Oh yay! Hello! Hello everyone! I am gonna, of course, refresh, watch my own videos, ads. There I am. Okay, cool. Hello everyone! Oh my god, turn my sound down. You guys hear me? You're all good? All good, all good? I'm gonna pretend that everyone's good. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm gonna put this down. Today it's gonna be full body. I've been using a pair of dumbbells. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go cardio strength, cardio strength. At the end, we will have an ab burnout. So get ready. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's start it out by warming it up. So go ahead, bounce it out nice and easy. Just bag it and bounce it in your knees. Three, two, one. Start bringing those knees up a little bit. Just a tiny bit, not too much. We're just getting started. Three, two, one. And bring it up a little bit higher. Oh, we're almost to the full height. Three, two, and as high as you can. Drive it up. Nice job, guys. Now add in as if you had a jump rope. Now this is gonna take some coordination, so if you can't quite do that, just stick with those high knees. Three, two, one, and let's go ahead, feet out wide. Sink down side to side. Nice and easy. Nothing too crazy yet. Let's step forward. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one, and go ahead, shaky, shaky, right in the jumping jacks. If this is too much, you can always just tap it out. Not tap out of the workout. You can't do that. You can't leave me. Not yet. Three, two, one, and go ahead. Shaky. Let's stabilize on that right leg. If you want to add some nice little shakes here, go for it. Or drive that left knee up. From here, kick out. Bring it back. Bring it out to the side, try to stabilize. Kick out, back. Bring it back to center, and go ahead, swivel side to side. Or in front and back. Keep your core strong. Keep stabilizing. You know, guys know I love my stability exercises. Three, two, one more. One, and switch sides. Stabilize, find your grounding, look at a non-moving object. <laughs> Kick out, bring it back, bring it out to the side. Kick it out, back, center, and go ahead. Add those swivels in. Again, keeping your core nice and strong. Don't be afraid to use those arms to counterbalance yourself. Yeah. Feel free to go barefoot too. It's a whole different experience when you're going barefoot makes you really have to focus on that stability in a whole different way let's go two more last one and go ahead bounce it out Whew. all right from here we're going to walk forward plank position let's press back down dog bring it back into a plank press all the way back warming up those shoulders keeping that core nice and strong nice job guys gonna be so fun today. We're doing everything. Everything. Let's go two more down dog to plank. Last one. And come down to those knees. We're gonna warm up those wrists. So from here, keep your arms straight. You're gonna rock forward and then bring it back. I know a lot of people have wrist issues, but warming them up like this is really gonna help when we go into movements like plank, like burpee, all that jazz. Let's go two more. Phew. Last one. And go ahead. A few circles here. Round and around and around we go. Woo. And just go the other way around. Three, two, one. And we're going to have our fingertips facing bar or like, you know, closer to our knees. <laughs> and we're going to have your forearms nice and straight. We're going to lean back. Not gonna lie, I feel a little, I'm a little nervous today. <laughs> I got those nervies, those like butterflies. I think it's because last week we, we didn't do it, so I'm like, I'm refreshed to be nervous again. 
<laughs> and go ahead, bring it back. A few wrist circles here, clasping into prayer. And rock it around. Rock it around. And go the other way. Three, two, one, and hands on the ground. Push your hips back, straighten out the legs, slowly roll it up. And once you're up here, we're gonna crisscross those arms. Really think about opening up that chest, squeezing that back. Keep it going. Yes. Yes, getting those shoulders, getting that back, getting that chest. We're gonna go for three, two, one, and alternate those back lunges. We are almost ready to get into that warm up, or sorry, that workout. Guys, this is the pre warm up, then we're gonna go in the warm up. <laughs> getting real serious here. What about the lemon seeds? Let's go a few more. Last two on each side. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. We're gonna go with some seal jacks. So hands out, you're gonna have your feet out, knee in the middle. Keeping the core nice and strong. Keep it going, guys. Get that breath ready. It's gonna be real fun today. So remember, we're gonna start with a cardio move and go into strength and keep repeating that. Cardio strength, cardio strength, and finish up with some abs. Three, two, one. All right, one more. Skaters, side to side. Now really just focus on stability here. Take your time in this movement because we will be getting into it again, like right away. <laughs> keep going with that stability, guys. Remember, it doesn't have to be about speed, just the warm up or pre warm up. Let's go four more. Two, one, shaky, shaky. All right, I'm gonna make sure everything is all good and then we'll get started. Hello, hello, Farida, Chayama, Sonia, Jose. All right, guys, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Cause it's gonna be real fun once we get started. All right, 15 seconds. So starting out, like I said, right away, skater to burpee. So we're gonna skate down. If you can, you're gonna stabilize one foot and jump up. If that's not available, skate and into a burpee. All right, let's go. Skate, if you can do that one leg, go for it. If you can't, no big deal. Keep it going, guys. It's a short workout today. So make sure you guys give me your all. Cardio. Cardio is so good for us and our hearts. Keep it strong. 12 seconds. All the way up. Almost there, guys. Last skater. Three, two. All right, so next up, we're gonna grab the weights. All right, so we're gonna start out, hammer curl, stop at 90, bring it out to the side and down. Get ready. All right, let's go. Hammer curl, stop at 90, out and down. Really think about squeezing Shoulder blades together. Curl, stop in 90, squeeze and down. Nice and controlled. Keep it up, guys. Now, even on the way down, make sure you're controlling it. Nice, strong core. Oh, baby. Really increasing time under tension for those biceps. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> Who wouldn't love to give their biceps a little extra love? Three, two, and we're going to go back to cardio. Hey. All right, so sorry, you got 10 high knees and then 10 ankle taps, okay? Take your time. You can walk it out if you need to. If you can't get the ankle taps, stick with high knees. Four, five, six, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it up, guys. One, two, three, four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, seven, ten. Woo! Oh, this is fun. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. We are starting off our weekend. Awesome! One, two, three, four, six, seven, ten. Keep going, guys. Only ten more seconds. That's enough for one more round. <laughs> Last three, two, all right, so <sighs> triceps extensions, yes. We just worked biceps, now it's triceps time. So from here, stay in position, hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, back is flat, elbows up, kick it back, kick. Really think about getting the squeeze in back. We are getting the back of those arms, Keep it going, guys. Exhale, kick back. 25 seconds, squeeze. Make sure you're challenging yourself with weights. If you don't feel this by now, maybe increase the time under tension, hold it up here, bring it back, or add a bit of weight. Just make sure you control it on the way up and on the way down. Five, four, Three, two, all right, nice job. So I'm gonna set up my dumbbells like these. So, a bit wider than hip width. From here, you're gonna make a figure eight, and I'm always gonna be facing forward, and I'm trying not to cross my feet. So we're really, really working agility here. So all the way around, all the way around. Make that figure eight. If you're afraid of tripping over the dumbbells, you can just make a figure eight, pretend you have one, Halfway, we'll switch directions, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't really matter. We're going to figure eight. Keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness. Finish it out, guys. 15 seconds. Keep your core strong. We're gonna go back to strength after this. So you get to catch your breath a bit. Almost there, five, four, Three, two, all right. That's fun. Plank rows. So we are going to have dumbbells right under the shoulders. We're gonna row back towards the hip. So notice how I'm not rowing up like this. Rowing back, keep it close to the body. Keep your hips as straight as you can. If you need to widen out your stance, you can. If you need to put just one dumbbell in the middle because it hurts to plank on those dumbbells, you can. Another option, come to the knees. Rowing back, working those lats, working that core. Keep your hips again straight as you can. Ooh, baby. <laughs> After this, we're gonna go back to cardio. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, run. Nice shot, guys. All the way. All right, nice job. So next up, we have back lunge to hop. Now remember which leg that you are having in front, okay? So we're gonna go back lunge and hop it up. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So that right leg, this is gonna be an understatement, is gonna be burning. That right glute is going to feel it. Really drive it up. If you can't jump, you can go ahead and take the jump up. No big deal. You gotta remember which leg is in front because we're going to be really, really burning it out with the next movement for strength. Keep breathing, keep going. 10 seconds, guys. Oh my goodness. Woo. We got five, four, three, two, Okay, so whichever leg you were just having in front, we are going to stabilize on. It's gonna be single leg deadlift. Now at the bottom, you're gonna switch arms, switch back, and come up, okay? So it challenges our balance quite a bit more. Sink down, forward, back, and up. If you need to tap down in between, you can. Just remember, 
Keep your chest up, hinge from the hips, slight bend in the stabilizing leg. Keep your hips as square to the ground as possible, as parallel to the ground. This is our time to catch our breath, but balance work is a lot more challenging when our heart rates are up. So if your balance is super off right now, it might be a day, or it might be because, hey, we still have to catch our breath. Five, four, three, two. All right, shake it out. So go ahead, drop that weight, unless you wanna keep it, you can go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go with that back lunge and hop other side. Why not? Why not, cat? I don't know, that's so weird. Okay, let's go. Back lunge, hop it up, really drive it. We are strong here, and our floors are squeaky here. <laughs> Keep going. So fun. Hop all the way up. Nice job, guys. We only have 20 seconds left in this one. That's nothing. So make sure you stay with me. Keep it strong. We got it. Concentrate on that breath. 10 seconds. Whew. Last five, four, three, two. Okay, so stabilize on that, for me, left leg. <laughs> for you, not sure. Were you a rebel? Did you do the other side? Have a slight bend in the stabilizing leg. Three, two, let's go. So really take your time. I know this leg is definitely a bit weaker, which I've been working on. So I'm really gonna concentrate on taking my time. I'm looking at a non-moving object in front of me to keep that stability. Keep your core nice and strong. <laughs> nice job, guys. <laughs> Keep going. 15 seconds. Almost there. Oh my goodness. Last one. And three, two. All right. So back to cardio for body hook slips. So if we're slipping over to the right, we're going to hook with the left. Two, three, four. Tuck, and we really want to concentrate on landing softly. If you can't do a tuck, do a little hop or come up to the tippy toes. All right, so one, two, three, four. A little bit of boxing infusion. Keep your core strong. You should feel your core with every single body hook slip. Yes. Two, three, four. Keep going, guys. One, two, three. Four, and hop. Two, three, four. Finish it out, guys. One, two, three, four. Last 10 seconds. Two, three, four. Let's go a little more. What the hey? <laughs> All right. Dumbbell face pulls. So instead of rowing here, throw up towards the eyeballs. We're gonna stay in the same position as we were in a wide row when we did those. So, hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, bring it up to the eyeballs. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Keep going, bring those elbows back. Nice flat back. Keep going, guys. You can go one at a time if you need to. Keep it up. Rowing it all the way back. 20 seconds. So we're really hitting those rear delts here, which is the back of the shoulders. Super important to healthy posture. 10 seconds. And to keep a healthy, balanced shoulder. Five, four, three, two. All right, so next up, dumbbell squat touchdowns. I'm gonna bring one dumbbell with me. You don't have to, you can go body weight if you want to. Start with my feet together, sink down, come up and switch. Come up and switch, okay? If it's too much to switch, you can hold the dumbbell in the center. I just think it's kinda, it's fun. 
as a bit of flare. Stick your booty back. Keep your back flat. Keep your chest up. We don't have to touch the ground. Keep going, guys. Strong. Last 20 seconds. Yes. Almost there. Finish it out. Last 10. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two. Oh, okay. Narrow row. So, same position as the face pulls, except we're working on our back. So, hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, elbows in, right next to the body. So, it's like a standing plank row then, except we're doing both hands. Keep your core strong, keep your back flat. Keep rocking it, guys. Yes. Oh my goodness. Roll, squeezing shoulder blades together. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice neutral neck. We're not looking down at our feet or up at the camera. Five, four, three, two. All right, so I'm gonna move this so I can see what we have next. All right, so back to cardio. Four running man, opposite hand, opposite foot. One, two, three, four. Four switch lunges. Now, you can walk those out if you need to, okay? One, two, four. Try to get as wide of a stride as you can. Make sure in those lunges, sink straight down, mid foot to heel on that front leg. Three, four. Keep it going, guys. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going, guys. We're almost done with this one. Three, four. Ten seconds. We got five, four, three, two. Oh, today's a little bit challenging. Okay, I'm gonna grab one weight. I'm gonna hold it here. So from here, I'm gonna go to one side and one heel is gonna come up. I'm gonna straighten out that other leg and that heel's coming up. So we're working quads, but really inner and outer thighs. Nice and controlled. Keep going. Really think about sitting back on the side of that bent leg. We are almost to core work. Yes. Oh my goodness. That went by pretty fast, right? <laughs> 10 seconds. All the way. Five, four, three, two. All right, so next up is roll to jump. If you can't do the roll, you're gonna squat, come up, and jump. If you can, you're gonna avoid the neck and the head. Another option, keep a weight in front. It'll help to counterbalance you. All right, let's go. Roll back, use momentum, and up. Woo! Use that core. Really use momentum here. Up, up, and jump. Bring it back. Roll, up, and jump. Try to bring your hands up when you jump, just for a little extra challenge. Because why not, right? <laughs> why the <heck> not? <laughs> Roll it back, come up, and hop. Finish it out, guys. Roll, woo, up, and hop. Almost done. Hop and jump. Oh, okay. Come on down the ground. Okay. Reverse crunch twist. So from here, you can support your lower back. You're gonna bring your legs about halfway between bent and straight, up and twist. So you're bringing the knees towards you and then you're twisting. If you have lower back issues, you're just gonna stick with the reverse crunch and pop it straight up. 
bring those feet up to the ceiling exhale up inhale down if you want to make it more challenging you can go ahead and take your hands away from the lower back so that's going to make it way more fun <laughs> keep going oh my goodness 10 seconds keep rocking me guys five four three two all right nice job so next up side b up but we're going to take it slow on the way down so i'm going to cross my feet and from here i'm going to crunch up and then slow and controlled on the way down all right go for it if this is too much you can just stick with bringing the top leg up and taking out that slow down we're really getting that top oblique I'm sure some of you can feel it right <laughs> can you feel it can you feel it mr krabs <laughs> keep going I'm a 90s baby, you can tell. <laughs> and up. Keep going, guys. What show did you guys watch as a kid when you came home from school? That was a lot of Sailor Moon, <laughs> a lot of Gilmore Girls, SpongeBob, and done. All right, so we're going to switch right away to the other side. Getting that oblique. Yeah, we like that oblique. Gives us that nice shape. That wonderful shape. Woo. All right, get ready. Three, two, crunch it up. Slow and controlled on the way down. Keep it going. We're strong. We are strong. We're so close to finishing. All the way up. Controlled on the way down. Bring it up. Yay, 20 seconds. Up, exhale. Last 15, up. Oh my goodness. One more, maybe another. We'll see. Five, four, three, two. All right, so I'm gonna grab a weight. Now for this one, we're gonna do a suitcase with four Russian twists. If you can't do the suitcase, you're gonna stick with just the Russian twist. So we're gonna crunch up, twist four times, and come down, All right? So crunch up, twist. I like to follow the dumbbell with my eyes because it makes me twist a little bit more. If you have lower back issues, make sure you plant the heels, lean back, and you can just stick with these, okay? That's totally cool. Whew. Keep it up, guys. Twist these. 20 seconds. Twisty twist. And down, finish it out. Last 10. Oh yeah. Only three moves after this. Four, three, two. All right, so next up is alternating toe touches. Now we're going to bring one foot up, reach, and then switch. If you want to make it more challenging, you're going to hover your feet. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Woo. All right. Reach up there. Use your breath. Exhale up. Inhale down. Bring it up. Keep it going. 30 seconds. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. We are strengthening our core, being strong with every single rep. Up. Woo. Every rep counts. Think of your goals. Think of those beautiful goals. 10 seconds. Up. Last one. Urgh. And three, two. Okay, so next up we have Superman. So we're gonna work that lower back so we four pulses and then down. So one, two, three, four, and then rest. Keep your neck neutral, look down at the ground just to protect it, okay? So up, two, three, four, down. One, two, four, squeezing, 
Strengthening that lower back, so important to do. It is part of that core. So it's gonna help with our posture. It's gonna help with every single movement we do to make sure we don't have lower back pain or anything like that. Four, down, keep it breathing, you got it guys. One, two, three, four, and down. Finish it out. One, two, three, four, down. Okay, last movement guys, yay! That was fast, and then we'll stretch. So, support your lower back. We have a full reverse this time, and then open up the feet, okay? Let's do it. Whoo, get ready, let's go. Pop it up, open feet. If you just did my newest um, abs workout, you'll probably still be feeling it. So if you guys do wanna do that video after this, it's 15 minutes and it's a complete ab destruction. The stuff I love doing whew, every single day. 20 seconds, guys. Finish it out. Whew. 15. We're almost there. Oh my goodness. Last five, four, three, two, and done. Done, done, done. Done, 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 done. All right, guys, we are going to stretch. Whoops, I just destroyed that. All right, so let's go ahead and have our feet in front. A little shaky, shaky here. Keep your back as straight as you can as you reach as far as you can. You don't have to necessarily reach your feet. You can reach your ankles, your knees. And from here, go ahead, collapse into it. Few side to sides. And go ahead, bring it back up. We're gonna take that right leg, bring it out to the right, left foot in the inner thigh, and reach for it. Reach here. If you can't, again, reach for your foot, ankle, knee, totally cool. I'm gonna give you the option, if you do have the flexibility, to take your opposite side hand, wrap around the outside of the foot, and look under. You'll feel that on the cue up, as well as in that right leg. Again, not necessary, but I'm giving you that option. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Woo. One side might be tighter, than the other. Ooh, this one is, let me tell you. <laughs> so I know times are very challenging right now for you guys. Um, so just remember to be kind to yourself, take the time for you. I'm glad that you took the time for yourself in this workout to get stronger. I love that. Go ahead, bring it back. Bring those feet together. Because just remember, if we can't take care of ourselves, then it makes it a lot more challenging to take care of other people or other situations and all that jazz. So make sure, whether it be journaling, going for a walk, do one of my workouts, do one of your favorite hobbies, you just take some time for yourself. Very important to do, regenerate, rejuvenate, all that jazz. Shaky, shaky. And let's go ahead, bring those knees together. I'm gonna wrap it around. From here, big toes together, knees out wide, another hip opener. We hold a lot of our emotions in our hips, so I think it's good to face those emotions and release them. Makes it a lot healthier for our body, our minds, all that. And let's go ahead, bring those knees together, curl the toes underneath. We're gonna shift those hips up, get the hamstrings and the calves. Feel free to bicycle it out here. Bicycle, bicycle. And slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Ooh, go ahead and roll the shoulders. Oh my goodness, let's get those shoulders. So left arm across the body and palm, looking over the left shoulder. Make sure you relax your traps instead of hiking it up. Breathe. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today. It really means a lot that you guys come here live with me. Um, I love reading your comments and stuff too. Go ahead, shake it out on that side. Or even if you're doing this later on, feel free to comment below. Let me know what 
TV show you watched as a kid after coming home from school. And go ahead, shake it out. Now, we hold a lot of our stress in our necks too. So I'm gonna clasp my hands in back and I'll show you a mod if you can't quite do that. You're gonna drop your neck over to the right. Now, if you don't have this flexibility to reach in back, no big deal. We're gonna take our right hand, bring it to the left side of the neck and then the left side of the head and then have our left hand on the shoulder and palm. So that is gonna be your option. Three. And bring it back to center. Let's go to the other side. Keep breathing. And go ahead, bring it back to center. Shaky, shaky. We're almost done here. So let's do the most important stretch of them all. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale. Oh, bark, oh, bark, oh, bark. We are done for today. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna read the comments, make sure everything went on wonderful. Remember, if you do want to support my channel even more, there is the super chat option. There's also a link in my description that says support my channel. And then I'm like, yay! So it's very exciting. <laughs> uh yes. But let me know if this time is working for you guys. I hope so. Yay! Banana Breezy, I'm glad that you made it still. Shape your mind. That's awesome. Man, we have been writing to each other back and forth in comments for years now. So it's really cool to see you here live with all of us. Alan, good luck in 10 hours. Or you already, by the time you, you hear me saying this, you'll be done. So good job. <laughs> Sonia, thank you so much. Farida, thank you guys so, so much. Leanne, oh my God, thank you so much for super chatting. Thank you so much, Leanne and Parker, for joining me. That really, really means a lot. I love the super pair. <laughs> it's so cute. Clementine Diva, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I really appreciate you guys coming so much um, and supporting my channel, just being here with me. Really, really, it just means a lot. Yeah, Leanne, you love the cardio strength format. I know, I love it because it's just like, <gasps> ah, and then you get to take a break, but it makes the strength move even more challenging, which is actually a very cool component to it. And then you go right back into it so you can't get too comfortable. <laughs> so it was really fun. Uh, Graham, I'm so glad you liked it. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you guys um, next week. I am planning on staying at the same time. Let me know if there's a certain format you guys want to see. And yeah, it's wonderful to just like be with you guys. So thank you so much. All right, I will see you soon. Ah, roar.